Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. We're gonna take a really, really close look at my trailer. So this might be a little bit of a long video, but y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. All right, if you have any other questions about this trailer or my lifestyle in this trailer, put it down in the comments down below and uh, I'll answer them to the best I can. So let's get into my trailer life, living out of a teardrop trailer, being pulled by a 2008 Harley Davidson Road Glide. From, I've been living in this trailer from trailer time for 14 months now. And I thought I'd give y'all a, uh, a good overview on the trailer, real detailed overview, and tell you a little bit on how it is to live in a uh, four by six by four foot tall box. <laughs> That's the size of this box. And people ask me two major questions about this trailer. Number one is, do you sleep in this? Yes, I do sleep in this. I sleep in this trailer the majority of the time. I'll usually get a hotel room or a, a place from a friend that puts me up for a night at least four or five times a month just to get out of the box. And I lovingly call this trailer the box. Now, this trailer weighs 350 pounds with nothing in it. And it has about 50 pounds worth of stuff in this trailer from me. Uh, my mattress, my clothes, my tools, my food, it, it puts it up to right around 400 pounds. Man, do I wish it popped up. <laughs> I'd have a lot more headroom I could sit in it than that, but it doesn't. So the only thing that I do in this trailer is sleep. I might watch a video while I'm laying down, but that's pretty much all I do, is very comfortable sleeping in. I have no problems this trailer twisting and turning because I twist and turn a lot. And I sleep very well in this trailer. When I first started the Riding for a Cure and pulling this trailer with my motorcycle, the whole idea was just to do this for a whole year. Um, I didn't meet my goal for $90,000, so I decided to continue it. So now it's been almost 21 months uh, doing this and living out of this trailer here. His, has its ups and downs. Uh, number one, it's small. it's small. And if I want to do anything, I just have to get out of the trailer. When I'm at parks, I can be at the picnic tables. Uh, when I'm at the truck stops, I certainly can be inside there at their restaurants and their places that they have for the truckers to sit. And when I'm at the truck stops or restaurants like McDonald's or, or whatever, what other type of restaurants that I'm at, I I can connect to Wi-Fi, which is a good thing for me to catch up on my uh, social media and my video editing, all that other stuff. Oh, trailer time. I shouldn't talk about trailer time. Uh, trailer time, I saw this trailer at the uh, Motorcycle Expo in Dallas. It was sitting here. This exact trailer was sitting there. And uh, I was going, man, that would be great for my trip. Would be great as a rolling billboard. And it would save me money on hotel cost. And I could pull this on my trip. And I thought it would be great. So I contacted the company. I flew up to Willoughby, Ohio to talk to them about getting a trailer built. And I told them what I was doing and the whole bit. And they go, well, for about 2000 you can have this trailer. Uh, we'll donate the rest. And I'm going, okay, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, I asked for them to put a heftier battery in and they did some other things. I gave them a deposit on it immediately. Flew back home about a little over a month later. I rode the motorcycle up there to pick up the trailer, gave them the other uh, thousand bucks and took the trailer back home. So this trailer here is their first trailer they built and it's their demo model. And yeah, there's some things that are need to be 
fixed and they're kind of it's kind of quirky but they've uh, fixed that in their other models that they've done uh, most nights I'm staying one night in this trailer and then I have to put up the jacks and go to my next location there are times when I am uh, uh, camped out for the week or for anywhere from three to seven days um, uh, Sturgis was that there's some other uh, places that I was there so I will uh, be camped out because the motorcycle gets rarely disconnected from the uh, trailer and uh, when I'm at those locations for a long time then sometimes I do disconnect the uh, motorcycle uh, I do have a hammock with me I like sleeping in the hammock so I'll set the hammock up so I used to do that before I had the trailer and I do have a video on that too if you want to check it out uh, it's just find a couple trees and toss it up sleep in the hammock it's uh, really nice to do I had a I still do I have a Hennessy hammock which has the tarp and the bug net and the whole bit all built into it uh, awesome awesome hammock uh, I just toss it up and go to sleep for the night and then it bundles up in a small package and I do have when you're traveling with a uh, trailer that you cannot be in a lot you're at places like McDonald's and I'm usually here for the internet and the dollar iced tea. I do have a video on why I like McDonald's. Um, going to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, Y'all saw the pee bottle. Uh, that is there for an emergency if so I need to pee. And if it's raining outside, I guarantee I'm using that pee bottle. Might be too much information, might not. Uh, then going number two, uh, I just have been going before I uh, get set up and go to the bed. I go to the bathroom at a public facility. It's not that big of a problem when I'm at a state park or something like that or even at like a Walmart parking lot like I'm in now. Uh, they have a bathroom inside. Usually I uh, I go to the bathroom before and I, do, I don't usually have to go to the bathroom at night when I sleep. Cooking. Don't cook a lot. <laughs> I, uh, I have a jet boil. I love making ramen noodles for some reason. I love that stuff. No, I don't use their little packet in there because it has tons of sodium. But I have my own spices that I use, uh, which is a little bit, not a little bit, a lot less sodium than is in those packages. And yes, I know the noodles still have some sodium in there, but I, I love those. I add to the, the ramen noodles. I put chicken in there and a bunch of other stuff. And the jet boil I have heats up water within a minute couple cups it's uh, awesome my daughter gave me that for Christmas thank you crystal uh, I don't know how many Christmases ago four or five Christmases ago <laughs> and it's still going strong and I still have staying clean uh, when I'm traveling with the uh, trailer and the motorcycle um, you're probably wondering how I stay clean I'm going to have a video series on how to stay clean. So I'm just going to go over this briefly. Um, number one, uh, baby wipes. You do a baby wipe bath, a bucket wash. Uh, you have a bucket, fill it up with water, and you put a rag in there and get all cleaned up. A gym membership. I do have a membership with Planet Fitness. And it's a great place for me to go in and get a shower, get cleaned up. Also, kind of stay a little healthy and do a little workout before the shower. At the truck stops, uh, it costs 12 bucks to take a shower and get a nice hot shower. Uh, state parks, uh, national parks, they have showers. Uh, if you haven't, like I have a Texas State Park Pass and I can get into the parks uh, for free and then I can go take a shower hotels I usually get a hotel three or four times a month when I'm traveling that's how uh, I stay clean and I'm... okay we're inside my uh, camper and I'm gonna show you around the inside and how I have everything organized this is my charging station 
right here. This shelf I put in, this charges my watch, this charges the batteries for the camera I'm holding right now, which is the DJI Osmo Action. These are just some spare uh, SD card adapters, mini SD card adapters. This charger charges my camera batteries for, for my Sony A6000, which is an awesome camera. I uh, have some extra clothespins here that are come in handy for all kinds of things. Um, I know this wiring here looks like it's a mess, but it's not. I switched this box out and put these USB ports in here. This is the plugs for the shore power. They were there and ex existing. I just added this box and added the plugs because this was not enough. <laughs> there are just two USB outlets and one um, power port, whatever you call those things. And then I added this double there, which gives me four. But now I have four USB ports here, which also work in tandem with these four here. So I have plenty of USB um, 12 volt charging. The next thing is, is my phone. It's real important to have my phone charged because I use my phone for everything. I have this metal plate put on the back and this magnet right here, which connects to the steel ball. And it allows me to mount the phone there. And I use it here and then I can take this off and I have another magnet ball right here and I can just put that right there and I can put my phone there also if I'm laying down I can actually watch a video there or whatever I need, need to do which is pretty cool I like this little system probably need two of these I usually download the videos and watch them on there so it doesn't take up much of my data I put a thermometer in here about, I don't know, four months ago when I was through uh, Bakers, California. I bought this thermometer and I put it in here and I can kind of tell the temperature. Now this thing here I mounted, I mounted my second visit to uh, the shop where I bought this thing. And this is a little expandable net and I could put stuff in here and what I have in here for so far is stickers my uh, National Parks passport I got a uh, one of those large battery chargers right here which connect into the uh, USB I uh, got an extra uh, magazine for my gun batteries and these are just some uh, cards I put in here over the door I have a window shade from a car I pull that down and it helps people from seeing in really like that added there and then I have an umbrella up here the umbrella is velcroed up here and I can take it down and I could use the umbrella when it's raining which is important so that is my uh, hip bag my phone goes in this slot here Uh, there's what's in here. I can't remember. Oh, yeah um, Fingernails pins flashlight Cards a couple other things that are in there and depending what state I'm in and their laws this compartment here holds my gun which is a uh, Glock 43 uh, If you're interested in one of these bags here Uquala 
bags on my website is a link that you can get a discount code on there they'll give you free shipping and then they'll also donate a percentage of the sales to the writing for a cure uh, this extra slot here holds my wallet right there and it's got little magnetic things on that and then there's a um, little storage area on the back which I never used so that is my uh, hip bag now back here on the wall I have two bags hanging this bag here is basically kind of like a a kitchen drawer holds a whole bunch of different stuff in here which I need to put that in there so that is kind of like a kitchen drawer and it hangs on the wall up here and behind it this bag here holds a pair of shorts which I don't wear very much and a fleece I don't know what you call these I forgot anyway pants usually the only time I wear those is when it's cold <laughs> and little, you know try to stay a little warm in here so those hang on the wall there and when I'm sleeping this goes right there all right behind my gym bag toiletry bag all that stuff this bag here holds a uh, my socks, underwears, and t-shirts. It's a roll bag. And I got, I roll everything. That's my t-shirts, my socks, and then my underwear is right here. And then I just roll that back up and snap it back together. Behind this, right here, this bag is, this is a fog tog, uh, poncho which is awesome when it's raining and I have to be outside for a while my motorcycle jacket a little lighter warmer jacket right there and then I have some nice shirts hanging back here and I've had to put a heavier uh, hook up here uh, because of this because the other one broke off <laughs> no up here I have two bags this one here holds uh, electronics and stuff that I need I know I need a better bag and this holds extra things like deodorant shampoo whatever extra this has extra stuff in it and that's why it's towards the back and they just hang up here and do fine and these bags are from California they're reusable bags and they are thick and tough of course you have to pay what a dime for them but that's okay let's see if we can see under here all right yeah my feet go under here my feet go under here when I'm laying down and it's just fine And I don't know if you can see that little box back there. You probably can. It's back in the corner. But for the most part, this is wide open. My feet can go anywhere in there, and I can toss and turn all I want. I get I get that question all the time. And they go, you just have to lay flat. I'm going, no. All right. Let's talk about this mattress. This mattress here is a four-inch memory foam mattress. I have a bed liner on it. Let's see if I can get that out there. There we go. It's four inches memory foam mattress I got off of Amazon and it's been doing me well. Um, I bought it in full size and I cut it off. I should have just bought a twin and put it in here. And then I would have had more room back there to put stuff. Right, these are the uh, two pillows here. They're, I guess they're regular size pillows. I don't know. But the uh, pillows here are got memory foam in it. And they're very comfortable. And I usually just sleep on one. I'll toss the other one to the side. 
Um, well, let's talk about this. I have the extra blanket, which I have to use every once in a while. This is a quilt my mom made from old Harley t-shirts, and I thought it was uh, appropriate to take this on my ride. And this is a sheet, and there is a, uh, and there's an extra sheet in the corner over there. The only thing that I do in this trailer is sleep. Uh, and maybe watch a video while I'm laying down. Uh, it's not comfortable setting inside with the door closed at all. The curvature on this back here is just not comfortable laying in. And I tried putting pillows back there and all kinds of things. Uh, the best uh, place to set in here is against there. And I have to take the bag down, put it to the side, put the pillows up. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of room for my feet, so I'm usually sitting cross-legged. And it's just not comfortable. So, did I say this is not comfortable? <laughs> it's not comfortable to sit in. So, I don't sit inside here. Uh, I, I just lay in here. And probably 90% of the time, I'm laying here sleeping. Otherwise, if I'm getting up, I get up and get out. All right, I have a, uh, here down at the bottom under the charging station, this battery is an awesome battery. I got it off of Amazon. It charges tons of things. It's pretty cool. I have it there, so if I need to charge it, I can plug it in from the charging station and charge it there. Oh, I have a, uh, some sandals, dollar sandals from Walmart. I've had them on the whole trip. These are awesome sandals for a buck at Walmart. Cool. And I have my drink cup here. I need to put a cup holder in here. Maybe there. I don't know. But, yeah, I have a my Yeti cup right here. And I got it stuck between the mattress and it doesn't move. I did say that was my trash bag there, didn't I? That's my trash bag. I use, uh, I reuse these grocery bags. It's trash bags and a whole bunch of other stuff. That is it for the tour of the inside. So we're gonna go take a look at a couple of things. The trunk. And this is my trunk. This trunk holds uh, a couple of different things. Uh, first off, this trunk was replaced because the other trunk was leaking. Trailer time did that, no questions asked, uh, and now it doesn't leak anymore, which is really important. <laughs> All right, what I have in the trunk, uh, I have this controller here, which controls the solar panel which go the wiring goes here to this box inside connects here and connects to the battery this here is a it's a 12 volt um, air compressor that airs up my tires which is a really nice one uh, i've got some cones here i got some uh, kitchen stuff here Never leave home without a spork. I got a couple of them in here. Corkscrew, you know, just stuff in there. Water. Um, I usually fill these up at McDonald's because they have filtered water. I've got my tilde hat here. My tilde hat. Love this thing. I've had this hat for about 20 years now, somewhere around there, maybe even longer. It's an awesome hat. This thing is guaranteed for life and it's also insurance against lost. I think they'll replace it one time. But I've never lost it. <laughs> it is registered. You have to register to do that. And it's got a nice ventilation on top here. It's about a half inch wide and it does help keep rain off the top of your head, which it's starting to sprinkle. 
Uh, I'll have a link down below if you want to buy one of these Tildy hats. They're just awesome. And, you know, the lifetime guarantee is a plus. And the one-time loss insurance. Years now. This is a vest, a cooling vest. Uh, you wet it down and you wear it and it keeps you cool while you're riding. My donation sign. This holds food. Holds uh, all kinds of food in here. This uh, holds my food saver and extra bags. I've got a video on that. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, this holds my... Here, let's just pull this off. I've got a flask in here. I've got some uh, Pop-Tarts. That really shouldn't be in there, but it is. <laughs> got some peanuts. This has uh, some popcorn in it. This has crackers. There's another box of crackers. And this H-E-B thick and chunky salsa is awesome. I put it on my avocados and stuff like that. On a whole bunch of stuff. So this is kind of a food box. This here is my jet boil. Awesome. 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 Well worth every penny, I think, even though this was given to me by my daughter for Christmas. <laughs> there we go. That is my teacup. It's a Yeti teacup. This is a bucket. It's an expandable bucket. I uh, basically use that to wash with. Do a bucket wash. There's a video series coming up on that. I have a couple of extra rags in here. Got some American flags that I use for parades. This is a, a quick start in case my battery dies or whatever. Or... I run my battery low and it won't start, so it has all this stuff in here, which is pretty cool. I got this at Harbor Freight, and it does work well. Um, in California, they will not come out and jump your car, and I think Arizona and another one. Uh, AAA would not send somebody out uh, because of some kind of laws or something. I don't know. This is another food container. It has uh, an oatmeal in there has ramen noodles, my tea, cans of chicken, and a jar of honey, some more tea in there. Flask with whiskey in it. This is a utensil box that has, I don't know what it has in there, let's look. Oh, it has uh, some another spork in there, a carabiner, and a, a few extra stuff that's not even needs to be in there. All right. This bag here holds extra uh, mounts and stuff for my uh, DJI Action, Osmo Action. This is a toolbox. I'm not pulling it out. And there's another toolbox right there, and I'm not pulling that out. So this is what the trunk holds. Uh, the stick has been with me the whole time. It holds the trunk lid up. Yes, it would be nice to have some air shocks on this or stuff, but just never done it. On this trailer, there are four jack stands. It's real important that I put these down when I'm in the trailer because it puts stress on the motorcycle if I don't. And plus, it stabilizes the trailer. I have four of these that I have to do. Did that one hand it pretty good. Alright, that's the fan outside here. Got this LED light around the fan that came with the uh, the trailer. But uh, it had another fan in here and I replaced it with a better one. And this is a Max fan. 
and it has the buttons over here and it also has a remote with it which I kind of like because I don't have to bend over that way so I put the remote over here I can take the remote off and I can just leave it on there I know where the buttons are so I can just hit it as I go let's go up here to the top and I'll just hit the on button Uh, this thing has a rain sensor in it. When water gets on this here, it automatically closes and turns off. I wished it wouldn't turn off though. I wished it would just automatically close. And I don't know if I could set it for that or not. But, and I have it running at 10% here right at the moment. And I can change that from up to 100%. And it also has on here a auto I can set temperatures if I want to on here I can raise and lower the top at any time I want so now it's closing all right the uh, max fan is one of the best things I put on here with the solar uh, it definitely keeps you cool and air circulating inside the, the trailer and also helps keep the uh, condensation uh, from building up be able to stay in this trailer without the fan max fan it's a uh, it's awesome all right I got this solar panel with the extra cables Actually, this is the uh, cable that comes with this. Extra cables. This box, which allows the cables to go in here and still be dry. The controller, off of, off of Amazon for $350. I'm sure it costs more. The link for the solar panel and all this stuff is going to be down below. But it took, it took me about 20 YouTube videos to figure out how to put this uh, solar panel in and one of those channels which was really really helpful I'm going to give him a big shout out here is RV with Tito his link will be down below uh, he helped me through this installation he was awesome um, I got a couple of GoPro mounts here on the trailer people really like when I do this view here uh, I get a lot of comments on that. I have a couple of connections for the camera, which is not a GoPro anymore. It's a DJI Osmo Action. It's an awesome camera. And uh, the reason I bought this camera, it had great reviews. My other camera got stolen. I've had two GoPros stolen. So I just don't leave them out. I take them off immediately. Uh, bastards. Bastards that steal cameras. Okay, um, I got stickers of places where I've been up here, Ace Electronics, sponsor, Madrid, Madrid New Mexico, where they filmed uh, Wild Hogs, the Del Fagos, you know, if you haven't seen that movie, you need to go see it. It's one of my favorite motorcycle movies. Uh, Share the Road, Direct Cycle Parts, hook me up on the clutch, they're awesome. Uh, Eagle's Nest, Harley Davidson, and Lap Lapper. Lap prop? I'm not even going to try that. In, uh, Eagle's Nest, Harley Davidson, California. They uh, hooked me up on a set of brakes. Awesome people. Um, of course, my Riding for a Cure sticker, which should be standing out. And then I've got all these other stickers. These are places I've been. Billy the Kid Museum. Um, Mother Road Brewing. Uh, Hill Country Motorheads in Burnett, Texas. Motorcycle Museum. If you haven't been there, you need to go. SEBA. Uh, Station Motorcycle Museum off of Route 66 is very cool. Uh, my dear, dear friends that I met in Grand Canyon, Steve and Susie. This is their sticker. They need a bigger sticker. <laughs> um, Kendrick Spirits Against Diabetes is a motorcycle club in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Awesome. My uh, sticker for going to Sturgis. Uh, this is a YouTuber, Frugal RV Gal. Papa Texas is a YouTuber. 
Vicky Van Gogh, Lollapalooza, Lost on Land again, uh, Glide Arkansas. Uh, these are all YouTubers there. Uh, the National Corvette Museum was cool. Uh, this is Stacy Oberman uh, sticker. She does a YouTube channel and a much more. She wrote a book, very cool. Uh, the Case Museum have cheap ass stickers because <sighs> the Zippo sticker's working. Overland Expo that I went to. Um, Get Stick Customs is a YouTuber. That and Barnett Bl Clutches is what I've been using here. And this is my uh, fire department sticker. Turkish Texans, which is my daughter and son in law's food truck. AK Foraging and Adventures. Dak and Brenda, you are awesome. They're YouTubers. Um, the Rider Suburban. Uh, the mayor, Ryder Suburban, he's awesome. Another YouTuber, Van World, um, Calvin's Corner, YouTubers, Survival Preacher, um, Will and Away are from, I believe, Sweden, and they. I met them. I forget where I met them, but they gave me a sticker. They're awesome. Uh, go check out their website. Uh, over here. These stickers are, oh man, that's not staying very well, is it? National parks and places I've, I've been to, which are very cool. Uh, Route 66 the sticker is a cheap ass sticker. Uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway, I have not been on this trip, but I've been there. My zombie hunting permit, very, very, very important. Uh, another Sturgis sticker, National Park Geek, which I certainly am. All these are national park stuff. Uh, this is a state park in Texas, McKinney Falls. But for much, all this over here is parks. Uh, this is the uh, other side of my trailer. I wished it had two doors, but it doesn't. Uh, I lost this fender here somewhere, I think in Paris, Kentucky. Yeah, I just knocked it off. Sticker Mule, sponsor, awesome people. I got a discount code if you want to get them. The front. All right, a little bit about the tongue here on the trailer. It came with this tongue here, but this tongue started to crack over here. And so I put this steel tube under it to uh, reinforcement and it's just fine now. Uh, they're putting A-frames on these here now since I mentioned that to them. And where the ball hitches to the motorcycle here, this trailer hitch rotates 180 degrees all the way around. And other than that, it's a normal 1 8 ball trailer hitch. And it works pretty well. I had the uh, brakes and the lights hooked up there to the motorcycle. That was a special part that I had to order. The Yeti. The Yeti I put on here later on my uh, trip, probably about six months ago and I got a really good deal on it at REI for $125. And my door, I still have this fender. <laughs> All right, let's talk about my motorcycle that pulls the trailer, which is very important. My motorcycle is a 2008 Harley-Davidson Road Glide. I've had this bike for brand new since 2008. Uh, I had a uh, accident on this bike in 2009 in Death Valley which wasn't on this trip. And I wasn't doing videos back then but there is a blog post on there. I'll have a link to that down below. Uh, my daughter and I were on the bike and obviously they rebuilt the bike so uh, you can read more about the story there. It, it puts it up to right around 400 pounds. Now that's a lot of weight for a motorcycle that was never designed to pull a trailer. Now, I've had a lot of problems with this bike pulling this trailer. And a lot of people say that the uh, motorcycle is a piece of trash. Harleys are not worth anything. Well, I have a hate love with the motorcycle. It's a, it's a really good motorcycle. Uh, even though it's broken down on me probably seven times out of the 
14 months I've been on the road and it's because of this trailer on the bike this uh, trailer is hard on the motorcycle I've been through four clutches in the 14 months and you're going oh my gosh that's a lot of clutches yes it is uh, especially the clutch costs a couple of hundred bucks and then you got to get it installed I do know how to put it in but I don't have the tools the last place that put the clutch in for me is a sponsor twisted technology they're awesome they're in Richland Hills Texas if you need a motorcycle work done go call them guys and this third clutch I put in there was a Kevlar line clutch and that clutch lasted uh, probably around six months yeah uh, then just the standard clutches because the uh, first clutch that went out was in the first 30 days and then the second clutch was shortly another 30 days it went out and I said I can't afford doing this <laughs> um, Larry Oberman helped me put in the second clutch which was just great and he was also instrumental in helping me put in the third clutch he's got a really nice shop tools a bit I know how to put it in there now um, the third clutch that I put in there was a Kevlar line clutch and the fourth clutch Kevlar line clutch so um, I'll be putting those in there so I can expect it to last another six or seven months uh, pulling this trailer it's a good deal now brakes since this trailer pulls and pushes this bike big time uh, I've been through how many sets of brakes <laughs> I think I've been through about four sets of brakes four or five sets uh, mo mainly rear brakes um, when I was back in Fort Worth for my one year deal I actually put brand new rotors on the front of the bike and brand new sets of brakes I've been just putting the OEM brakes from Harley on here and maybe I should find some uh, more heavier duty brakes is my thought but I haven't done that I just go buy the brakes from Harley and put them on because it's all a nice little kit and it's easy to do and yes I do the brakes myself even though Twisted Technology last time did the the rotors and the brakes for me they are uh, they're awesome they just are you got to mention these people who are awesome in which there are just tons of them on this trip all right this bag is all scratched up on the motorcycle <laughs> when I was in Sturgis headed down to Rapid City it came off after me putting it back on putting on this little cylinder here I had to take the bag off and amongst other things uh, this bag here holds rags extra oil rain gear and tools specific tools for this motorcycle it's Harley's worst worst design on bags all right this bag here holds tarps extra gloves some warm stuff uh, this here was given to me at Overland Expo you know just lay it down and get yourself out of being stuck I use it as a kickstand uh, support for soft sand and stuff too which works really good this here is a is a fold-out pico chair awesome chair I used to have it over there until I got the Yeti cooler uh, it's now setting here this big tube here holds a huge banner for riding for a cure these little tubes here hold up an awning that I put up every once in a while when I'm I'm based somewhere more than a few days a liter of extra gas very important I've used it twice <coughs> holds my phone the spot this is a spot gen 3 this is a satellite messenger it is awesome I mentioned that I had an accident on this bike I used this spot because there was no connection nobody around in the middle of Death Valley and I hit the SOS button and the cavalry was out there within 30 minutes I hit this OK button every uh, every night most nights sometimes I'll forget this is a tracking button and it tracks my location every five minutes there is a link on the website it's down below 
on uh, to see where I am. Bike's been blessed on the trip this year and last year, and that is my 2008 Harley Davidson Road Glide. And I know I'm going to get questions on 110. If you saw my video on uh, Stephenville, the parade, that's my number in the parade. Well, guys, if you stuck around this long, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment. Things that I might have missed that you think I need to talk about. Guys, I've only raised a little under $8,000 so far at this date. And my goal is $90,000, so I still got a little ways to go. And I'm releasing this video during the coronavirus. It's because I have time to do this. When I started this whole trip, the one thing that I did is that I sold everything I had, pretty much, except for, you know, the stuff that you just can't sell and photos and memories and stuff. It funded most of my trip for the, the first year. And I really wasn't looking for sponsors then. I had a sponsor and I had another sponsor that dropped out uh, monetized wise, but I wasn't physically looking for sponsors. Now that I've gotten down to almost no money, I've been looking for sponsors. So if you know any corporate sponsors, that would be great. Uh, I'm looking for corporate sponsors. And if you guys uh, get a chance, click on the link down below and check out my Patreon site. Uh, for one whole dollar, you can uh, help keep me on the road. All that money from Patreon goes in for gas, food, whatever. If you do check out my Patreon site and you do decide to uh, support me, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. I'm, I do appreciate y'all watching, don't get me wrong, but it helps me out if you just go down and click on that subscribe button and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. Uh, it helps out tremendously. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, just let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. That guy cannot keep his trailer up. <laughs> his tailgate, it keeps falling down, the guy in the red truck over there. Uh, he's just dragging it again. It's the second time that tailgate has fell. I guess he doesn't have anything to hold the tailgate up. I don't know. Big truck coming by. Walmart! Trailer. I would do chemic. I would do chemic hamping. The, uh, the, 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 the trailer is hard on the, okay. Cars coming by. I'm in a Walmart parking lot here in Springdale. Arkansas, if you are curious where I'm at. Uh, this is my recording station. <laughs> Thanks. And I do, uh, I have, I, I built, I do have a hammock with me. Uh, I like sleeping in the hammock. Oh. I do. I'll see if I can do this one-handed, or I could just set the tripod down. I think it's on backwards. <laughs> I am going to have a video serials, serials. <laughs> I'm going to have a, a gym membership. I do have a gym. I do have, <laughs> start this over. I hit the record button and then this guy comes out and he starts trimming his Little truck coming by making noises. <laughs> now the truck's coming back. And maybe the guy's finished out here now. Hopefully. You got wind now. It wasn't windy earlier. When I first started, <laughs> when I first got a lot of distractions out here. When I 
and somebody's mowing their lawn over there. Want to know about my trailer life in a very small teardrop trailer? Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. Y'all want to know about living in a trailer? Lone Star Rider